I saw this one. I saw this headline and I was like, bruh, bruh, we got to see this. We got, we just have to see this. Like this has to be good. So the headline says Xbox's Phil Spencer says the metaverse is a poorly built video game. No. <laughs> but, but, but surely Mark Zuckerberg is not like a delusional lunatic on his quest to get everybody on a fucking VR headset who's working remotely from home just so that they can be more immersed in the glorious office environment so that they can be a fucking corporate slave with increased efficiency. Surely Mark Zuckerberg knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> the, the metaverse. <laughs> and I agree with him. Some version of a real life widespread virtual reality world has been an aspiration of sci-fi enthusiasts for decades. And as technology has improved in recent years, that dream has become closer than ever before. Meta, formerly Facebook, and Mark Zuckerberg's Metaverse project have been the closest mainstream attempt we've seen. But if that's the best we have, it'll be a while until we see a VR world akin to something out of Ready Player One. The internet has taken the opportunity to roast pretty much everything the Metaverse has shown because, well, it looks ridiculous. Take their most recent announcements about adding legs, for example, which apparently don't even work how they said they do. Yes, they lied. It's been recently uh, said, at least I've seen a couple of articles, but with the way that news goes nowadays, I'm not going to make any absolute claims. The, in terms of what I see on the internet, I will make absolute claims on one thing. Because from the presentations that I've seen about the metaverse up until this point, it does appear... That like one of the target audiences for the metaverse is people who are working remotely from home. Now the thing is, Mark Zuckerberg is so detached from reality that he's imagining that Bob from accounting is actually having a good time when he puts on his fucking Oculus Quest to do some accounting on his computer. This is Mark Zuckerberg's idea. You're going to put on a headset and it's going to be, you have this virtual world around you so that you can be more immersed in your work and, it, and this is just like so fundamentally beyond like any level of reality that people think like let me let me tell you guys something all right you want to know what is in front of me i'd love to show you what's in front of me but i don't want to fuck with my a camera angle but actually let, let me where's my phone Okay, let me grab my phone and I'll take a picture so that I can show you, okay? Oh, wait, I have a message. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh, let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna show you guys. If you can see what's in front. Let me increase the, the camera here. You guys can't see it very well, but like you see this, this is a big ass window. And then on the other side, like over here, there's another one, another window. It's two big ass windows. You want to know why? You want to know why I like having two big ass windows? In front of I like having two big ass windows in front of me so that I can actually see the outside. And so that every now and then, when I'm not live streaming, I'll get up and I'll walk around and I'll see the outside. Sometimes I'll even just like straight up go outside. And let me tell you something. That is healthy. That is a lot healthier than whatever the fuck Mark Zuckerberg has planned for your ass where they're going to strap a fucking helmet onto you and you're going to be immersed into your job fucking 24-7 you're going to be like having meetings in VR in the most unhealthy way imaginable. Okay? Like, let me tell you, this whole concept that Mark Zuckerberg has is so fundamentally bad for humanity as a whole. You're going to see so many more people fucking depressed because now, even working from home, they're going to feel like the absolute corporate slaves that they actually are because they're going to be required 
to put on this fucking helmet and do their job with this fucking helmet in front of their face. Which, let me tell you something. As someone who has tried VR before, I find VR interesting. I think the technology is not even close to being there yet. I'm talking like, I don't think in the next 10 years the technology is going to be there. That's just one man's opinion. But... It is fundamentally unhealthy to be on a VR headset for that long. You know, the intended l duration of like a workday. It is fundamentally unhealthy for you to be in VR for that long. And it is going to cause so many mental problems to people. And he's actually forcing people that work for him to use the fucking thing. He's incentivizing people. You know, you know how you incentivize people over on Meta? It's like, hey... You can, um, you know, have you thought that maybe you could wear this helmet? Or maybe you can get fucking fired? And then people are like, well, I guess I have to wear this stupid helmet thing and have meetings in this stupid virtual world. Because, like, Mark Zuckerberg looks at this as like, oh, I'll, uh, I'll go to my desk, I'll put this on, I'll be on for like one or two hours, and then I'll take it off. But his fucking slaves that are be beneath him, they're going to be expected to do it like... Four hours before lunch, then go to lunch, and then four hours after lunch. And that is absolute bullshit. Anyways, let's continue the article here. One of gaming's most influential voices, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, recently shared his opinion during uh, WSJ Live, as reported by Tom Warren of The Verge. When asked about his thoughts on the metaverse as we know it right now, Spencer said that today it's a poorly built video game. Building a metaverse that's like a living room is not how I want to spend my time. Yeah, exactly. He did add, however, that the concept is still in its infancy and that it will evolve. An evolution is inevitable considering how unpopular the metaverse has been with both users and actual meta employees who are paid to use it. The reality is that it looks terrible and so far pretty much all we've seen of it is for companies to use either shill whatever they're selling or make their employees work virtually. Workers already fed up as it is. Yes, no one wants to make their job even harder by wearing a hot, uncomfortable headset to be in a crappy-looking digital office. How can people struggle to understand this concept? We already spend too much time in front of fucking computer monitors. If anything, there should be incentives for people to go outside more. Actually fucking go outside. It's so healthy for you to just like... I kid you not... People spending just like 20 minutes, that's assuming that you have access to like an area that's basically not a fucking city street that's going to be filled with smog, like an area that actually has some fucking nature to it. it. Just like 20 minutes outside, just 20 minutes outside would increase everyone's life expectancy by like at least two years. From a mental state, from just like an actual health state, like, the, dude. It's not even, but, but these, these fucking delusional billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg are like, no, you're going to put on a helmet. It's going to be just like you're at the office. It's like, motherfucker, nobody wants to be at the office. The best thing about remote work is that they don't have to be at the office. And you want to put them there in your shitty looking virtual reality. Like, what are we doing? The whole idea isn't even novel in the first place. Platforms like VRChat have been around for years and players actually have fun in that game, so we at least know it's possible. My opinion, a few things have to happen before any form of metaverse will really take off. The hardware will need to be compressed down into a light, easy-to-wear glasses. Yes, this is extremely important. Let me tell you, if the, if the device has an umbilical, forget about it. Like, listen, that's the way that I look, because I've played VR before. The umbilical snags on something, immersion instantly busted. Your immersion just explodes. Also, if you happen to wear glasses, you in VR are fucked, my friend. You're just fucked. If you wear glasses like me, you're fucked when it comes to VR. It's just that simple. People who design VR headsets, whenever they look at somebody who wears glasses, they're like, yeah, fuck that guy. He's going to have a bad time. It's just too bad. It's just the way it goes. Um, anyway, the look and infrastructure of the metaverse itself will have to improve tenfold, and those developing it need to focus more on making it feel good rather than how much money they can squeeze out of consumers. I'm completely with Phil Spencer on this. If they want to make something that lasts, Meta needs to get some people who actually know how to make great games on the team because at the end of the day, all metaverse really is is a glorified MMO. 
It's like, it's not even just that, because the whole thing about the metaverse is that it's not supposed to be a video game. It's supposed to be something that, in a way, replaces life. And it's just, it's just so stupid because it's so incredible. And, and I know that, you know, I'm a 40 year old gamer that spends hours playing video games. And even I'm telling you this shit is unhealthy as fuck. So imagine how unhealthy it actually is. You're talking to someone who spends a, the most portion of his life looking at computer screens. Last thing I want to do is have a helmet on top of all that so that I can be more immersed in my computer screens. If anything, I want to do as much as I possibly can to reduce the amount of screen time that I expose myself to. And I feel that mostly everyone in the world should try to do that as well. And this whole idea that it's like, oh yeah, it's not a screen, just put this fucking helmet on. You're fucking insane. Just, this, 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 dude, this dude just has so much money that he's just like, I'm going to make a virtual world so that I can be a fucking king in it. That's that's probably his, his, his objective. He's just like, I'm going to be a god in this virtual world. Man, fuck you, fuck your virtual world, and fuck Facebook to begin with, which is a piece of shit website.